Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about fundamentals of soil science. I am going to cover the topic, the soil definition, which is uh, the first lecture we are going to see in soil science. So while seeing about uh, soil science, I am going to give the first the definition for soil science based on my aspects. So the so the science which use it to deals with soil is said to be known as the soil science which also increase, includes pedology which is a soil genesis classification as well as mapping of resources and uh, physical chemical biological as well as fertility status of the soil are said to be mentioned as well as a uh, noted while studying the soil science and uh, after seeing about the definition we must need to know about the six disciples in soil science so what are the six disciples are the soil fertility as well as soil chemistry as well as soil physics soil microbiology soil conversation as well as soil pedology so these are the six disciples in soil science we must need to know before knowing the soil science so the definition for these six disciples are in soil fertility so in soil fertility we must need to know or else we can able to study about the nutrient supplying properties of the soil so it also includes uh, from the major nutrients to the minor nutrients which are required by the plant as well as which are pr provided by the soil in different climatic conditions and the second one is soil chemistry so the soil chemistry is the combination of chemical constituents properties as well as the reaction of soils in the particular environment as well as uh, for the particular plant production in in agriculture science as well as in soil physics which used to study about the physical properties of the soil science uh, so as an intro we can able to see in soil physics as about the texture moist uh, texture these type of uh, substances and seeing about the soil microbiology so it is a disciple which used to deal with the microorganism and uh, its a role in the soil um, function as well as the population in per gram of soil as well as the classification of different microbes present in the soil and uh, the fifth one is soil conservation so soil conservation is a practice we are maintaining to protect the soil of both physical as well as the chemical properties from the erosion as well as uh, also maintain its fertility status and the last disciple is soil pedology so which is used to deal with the genesis uh, as well as survey as well as classification of different types of soil and uh, while seeking about the my view on my soil science is uh, at the first word we must need to know about uh, particular one the soil is said to be a latin word which is derived from a uh, word known as solum and the definition for the word solum is the floor which is said to be known as the base of the earth uh, and even different words and uh, the layman and the different views based on different scientists as well as different professions i am i have given this so the layman is the first scientist who is to define the soil as a so the dirt or else debris so a particular uh, place of land with a dirt and uh, based on the agriculturalist aspect so it is said to be known as the habitat for the plant growth so the soil is said to be known as the medium as well as the growing environment for the plant and uh, based on the aspect of mining engineer so it is said to be known as the debris which used to cover the valuable rocks so it is the aspect of the mining engineer as well as while seeing about the civil engineer so he used to describe soil as a material on which the roads houses buildings blocks are said to be built and can be used for the human uses and uh, i you must need to know about the important definitions of soil so there are more and more definitions for uh, soil but the two important one are the first one is whitney who is one of the professor who used to define soil is said to be known as the nutrient bin which you used to supply all the required nutrition for the plant growth and uh, it is what whitney used to state and as well as the dokachev who is said to be known as the father of soil science he is said to be a russian scientist and also a father of soil science 
so he used to describe soil as a natural body which used to compose of organic matter as well as organic constituents which used to have a definite genesis as well as distinct nature of its own so where it used to have different nature based on the environmental changes at um, one place to another and uh, we must need to know the soil is said to be also known as the soul of infinite life because without soil there is no human life can be uh, live on the earth in the terrestrial uh, way so which excludes the water organisms and uh, while seeing about the characteristics of the soil soil is said to be known as the three dimensional structure so the soil used to have both all the characteristics like length breadth as well as depth so these are the three characters which used to maintain the soil is said to be a three dimensional structure and uh, while seeing about other characteristics they also even form a continuum over the land surface as well as differs from place to place so it is what i explained in those definitions so they are said to be divergent from place to place and uh, the soils uh, said to be have a upper boundary of air or water as their upper boundary as well as the lower boundary is said to be made by the mother rocks which is said to be also known as the rock lithosphere and uh, while seeing about the compositions of soil on volume um, in around here the soil used to contain 45% of mineral mineral matters and 5% of organic matter and 25% of soil water as well as 25% of soil air and uh, in these but particular organic matter around 5% there is around 80% of humus as well as 10% of roots and 10% of organisms so which is said to be the microbes which is present in the soil it is the composition of soil based on the volume and uh, while seeing about the composition of earth crust by percentage uh, only around 8 elements in the earth crust used to comprise around 98.6% of the total earth crust so while seeing them the first one which is said to be known as the oxygen which is 46.2 percentage as well as silica 27.72 percentage and uh, after the followed by aluminum iron calcium sodium potassium and magnesium so these eight elements so these eight elements used to be composed the earth crust around 98.6 percentage and uh, other nutrients are 1.41 percentage so these are the main eight elements which is said to be found in the earth crust and uh, while seeing about the approaches of soil so how we can be able to study or else how we can be able to classify them the soil is said to be uh, around two approaches in soil study so the first one is pedology and the second one is edaphology so the pedology what i have mentioned from above the pedology is said to be a study of soil by the nature occurrence as well as the environment so you can able to survey survey it genesis it and classify the soil based on its natural creation but uh, edaphology is said to be known as the study of soil by higher plants so about this study they are said to have various properties related to plant production so the edaphological study of soil which used to explain the soil based on the plant production made in that particular location so I have given the lecture notes in the description. So if please describe about our video in the comment section and join us in the Instagram page. So if you like the video, like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to BSC Agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates. So thanks for watching the video. I'll catch up in next videos.